back to another episode of Minecraft Indoors. Today, I am joined by Miss Glam Owl Crazy. How you doing today, Glam? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I see that you've got quite the build here. This is an abstract type with some modern design that you that you did using some of the packed ice and some of the acacia wood. Uh, it's quite the spread, and we looked at it earlier, and you had a really, really nice design. I'd like you to bring us through it and kind of show me a little bit about what you were what you were thinking about. You want to give us a little tour? Sure. All right. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Okay. I <laughs> come through here. I, you kind of called it a lobby type thing. Okay. Kind of like a foyer, a little yeah. chandelier, some plant life, and this is a really unique fireplace design. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> And then coming into, this is sort of like the entertainment center area, and there's a little dining table in here. So mm -hmm. yeah, the, the use of the cyan and the acacia, like, it, it almost makes me want to say that it's kind of like the Italian-inspired colors, although it's kind of bright. Is this maybe a little retro, too? Yeah. Right? I, the just, green... I guess I just really like bright colors. <laughs> Yeah, well, most people do like colors. Like, most of the videos that I put out, everybody's always like, Z, you need to use more color. But I'm, like, real monotone. So it's just two different building styles, I suppose. So the inst the, the the entertainment center right here is pretty cool. I like the fact that you incorporated a little bit of bookshelves into it to make it seem almost like what you would see a normal um, entertainment center. Like, people have stuff all around, maybe, like, DVDs and stuff like that on the sides. Their sound systems built into the whole thing, and it's just all around the TV, almost like a console, um, even though it's it's few separate components. But I like the way it works out. And the use of the rug kind of separates it from the room without putting a wall, and you get to have the open floor plan. So I do like mm -hmm. that, too. Um, the center stairway is a real, real unique design idea, too. Like, most people have their stairway tucked in a corner, maybe next to a window, um, or... It's like at least offset. So a center staircase is really, really different. Anything sp particular you why you decided to do it that way? Um, because I like, I like, I want to make it like the center focal point and kind of go along with the fireplace. And I like it. I think it looks good. Like it really, really does. Before I think you'd had some bookcases that were on it, and it didn't show the structural support. But you don't really need to because that big acacia log which you have also running on the sides of the house and stuff like that. It just complements the theme really well. I think I think it makes a great centerpiece to the room. So past this, you have a kitchen, and the kitchen has pretty normal tile designs in what you'd see with a kitchen. And you chose to go with a lot of storage with the chest and the, the wool shelving, which I like a lot. The the little the little glass panes that you have in the item frames, what's that? Is that cap? It's supposed to be like backsplash kind of thing. Okay, cool. So like a tiled backsplash type of a pattern deal. Yeah. I got you. And you got a little hood vent going with the uh, the wire frame and the um, the quartz and a two wide refrigerator with a, an openable door. Is that what I'm seeing there? Yes. And it dispenses ice. <laughs> Sweet. I like that. <laughs> and you have the little sink island in here. Not bad. I love the island type sinks in kitchens, in real kitchens. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's one types of kitchens when it has the sink that's not all cluttered into the corner or whatever um let's go upstairs take and a look also with the island if you click on them they're the furnaces for more cooking space oh so like a little flat top deal cool <laughs> instead of going upstairs actually i'd like to see outside because i just saw an area that i overlooked we have a pool outside yeah a little swimming pool with it looks like an outdoor area for Oh, you got an outdoor kitchen grilling area. So a couple places for some people to sit and a place to Oh you can you can wait on your people like hey what you want to drink? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. And then a little gazebo with the entrance for the gazebo is on this side. And you've got a little fire pit in the middle. Very good, and some bench seating. I like this, and it's all surrounded by a canopy, and it matches with the house. I like this a lot. And some landscaping on the outside, and where this, oh, this is a little pond, like a water feature that goes into here. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Place that you can feed the ducks, if Minecraft had ducks. That'd be cool. 
<laughs> when I played Faithful the first time, I was using um, a pack called Painterly for the longest time. And I, I didn't even know Minecraft had chickens. I thought Minecraft had ducks. That's how long I used that texture pack. Oh my goodness. Let's go upstairs and we'll see what we got up here. The most revealing bathroom in the world, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Not shame. <laughs> but it is, in your defense, this is an upstairs section, so there's nothing up here that people should be to come and see, so they, they wouldn't be able to see it. You have an open shower right here, and a little lavatory on the side, and the toilet there, and your little stand where you put your robe and your, your, your booties. <laughs> nice. And some soap and uh, the little dial. Oh, the hot cold and the dial. I got you now. Very, very neat. So we did a little bed. You had a regular bed here, but I thought that the three wide bed would look better. And I kind of like the, the, I wish they had an acacia colored wool. That would have been worked, but you're on the half slab here. So it's a little difficult to pull off a bed with true depth. That's why we went with the snow layers. And I think it came out good. It's a good little quaint bed. Um, a little seating area here that you can look out the windows and check out the neighbors and be nosy and see what they doing. And then a little outside seating area with who's this fella? <laughs> that was from uh, Zal, I think. And nice. He's a pig. Uh, okay. Earlier he had some potion effects coming off of him. I think the pig got a hole in your bar area. Maybe a couple of sips of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> all in all, girl, I like the build very, very much. It looked. It took me a little while to get the feel of it, but. It's got a real nice architectural flow. Like, you can get to any point in the house relatively easy. It's sectioned off with a really open floor plan on both the top and the bottom to where it shows just like two different dimensions for the room. And all in all, it's very, very colorful. So that's about it for the tour, I guess. Anything else you want to show us? Mm, yeah, that's pretty much all for the house. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks so much for joining me and giving us the tour, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Zuljan and Glam signing off. Have a good one. Bye.